there's the ferry crossing the River Murray and here we are we've got away from the big smoke for the weekend and we're in Morgan on the River Murray in South Australia Morgan was established in 8087 it set it up there on the, oh, on the okay. plaque. Yeah. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy this. It's going to be on yeah, both uh, Horn of and Bandit and, and Mr. TPR. <laughs> if you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I love your comments, so make a comment. I always, re I always reply. Um, I and don't. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we have a bit of fun. So I hope you enjoy watching it as well. turned out to be a brilliant day. It's fantastic, look at it. It's been raining all week, like really, really bad. And look at this. And it said it was 90% chance of rain today, but I think that was very early in the morning. Yeah. So it's cleared up, we're on our way, we're going to Morgan again, but in a different place. You might have seen the video um, of when we went camping to Morgan at a camp spot on the Murray, a uh, fantastic camp spot. We wanted to go there again. They've had too much rain and it's inaccessible. So we're still going to Morgan, but we're going to the caravan park. So it's really glamping this time. So come and join us. So they've got a barbecue there, do they? Yeah, there's a barbecue. We'll pick up some groceries in Yuriukpa. We'll have a barbecue tonight. And then probably a pub meal tomorrow night. Yeah, sounds good. But we're we're actually going there in the middle of school holidays, so it'll be interesting to see how busy it is there. Let's hope it's it's going to be reasonably quiet, but we don't know. We were getting ready for um, a bit of drizzle, a bit of rain this morning, but there's nothing. It's just beautiful. Not too hot. It's not too cold, it's just right. And I'm using my new um, DJI Osmo Action. Very happy with it so far. This is Springton, and uh, next up we'll be going through Norupta and then to Morgan. Hey Chris, we're in Morgan, look. Oh yeah. <laughs> the the ride here was really windy. It was until we turned down the um what is it called? The Teal Highway or something, and then we had the back the wind at our back. Yeah. And it was beautiful. Yeah, no, that was it was better down here coming this way. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, oh boy it got windy for a bit. Lucky I've got a big bike that choose through the wind all right yeah yeah we're going to go to the caravan park on the river bank do Let's you know the way to get there no <laughs> i guess we just follow the signs there's a caravan there yeah there's a car there's a caravan hang on i'll go over there is that a caravan it's a blue sign welcome to morgan Oh, what does it say? Home of Tom Wickham. Ah. Olympic Silver 2021. Olympic Silver, but what was it in, Chris? I don't know. Running? Well, what was 2021? That was the... And the Summer Olympics was meant to be in 2020, but then they moved it to 2021, so it must have been... Must have been the um, summer. What's this thing? Oh, it's like a GoPro thing. It is a GoPro thing. <laughs> it is. See? I've got that there. Oh, hang on, I could steal one of these. Yeah, you could. 
But they might come looking for it. What do you think? <laughs> I think it's been there for years. Yeah, let's take it's it. Probably been broken. You, you can use one of those. One of the nuts, yeah. Wow, look at that. There you go. Got a bit of treasure. Yeah. <laughs> look, yeah. It's, it's probably been lying there for 300 years. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll take it and we might be, I might be able to use it. Because, um. You're missing a nut. Yeah, I'm missing a nut, so I might be able to grab one off of that. Well, let's hope we can find this place. Okay, is the coast clear? Let's do it. Oh, no, I won't go out just yet. I might no. have got run. I could have got run over then. So I'm pre presuming the caravan parks down here somewhere because was, I saw another caravan sign. It was by the um, by the river. Yeah, it must be over the other side of the river, is it? No, there it is, straight ahead. Caravan. I think this is it. I think we're here, Chris. Yep. Let's check in here. What do you think? Yep. Check it. Oh, <laughs> it says check in here. <laughs> We either park in or just park here. Okay, time to set up the tents. Well, good morning, everyone. Oh, did you see that? Something jumped out of the water. It's about six degrees, but not as cold as it was when uh, Chris and I camped in Melrose. We haven't been camping for a while, but I was able to get Friday off. The weather's cleared up. The week was really, really wet, so we thought we'd take the opportunity and come. We wanted to go to the camping ground where we were before, but because of all the rain, it was inaccessible. So we've settled on we still come to Morgan, but come to the Riverside Caravan Park. It's fantastic, really nice, well set up. A bit noisy because there's the ferry over there. Here are the resident chooks. Look at that, aren't they gorgeous? So they're very friendly and they have free range of the whole caravan park. They're very lucky. Aren't they cute? One's got a bit of a dirty rear end, but one of them's finding those pigeons very exciting. Oh. Oh. G'day. How'd Good you sleep? Morning. Yeah, not too bad. Alright? I usually struggle with the first night camping, but yeah. You're okay? Cold? Or were you warm? Um, I was pretty warm. Mm. Yeah, I, and that's without the, my... Uh, I usually sleep with the emergency blanket underneath. Yeah. Um, you know, the... Um, the Alum silvery yeah, one. Aluminium, I think. Yeah, yeah, so to keep so, the cold out. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I didn't, I didn't need it last night. It's fine. Yeah. Well, um, here's Chris's tent. It's big enough for a family of seven, I think. Um, but it's very nice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you can sit up in it. I, I've, I had one which was probably even smaller than yours once. Yes. But it was, yeah. it was a single person, you know, like a little hiking tent. Yeah, I used yours once yeah. and I could hardly fit in that. <laughs> and this is um, mine, the two man tent, which is really a one man tent because you've got to fit all your gear in. And they're the beautiful bikes. And we're going to go and go to the camp kitchen and boil some water and. Have a hot pot drink. Yeah, let's do it. And later on I might put the drone up. Haven't done that in a while. And we'll get to look at Morgan from up there. The playground here is great. Chris is really happy. Look at that swing there, Chris. Oh, he loves these things. Look at him. Oh, it's like Christmas all at once. This is the camp kitchen. Uh, it's actually well set up, isn't it, Chris? Yeah. Really nice... Um, Barbecues. You you got your you know all your ki kitchen stuff that you need. You got your toaster. You got your kettle. You got Chris. He oh, comes no. with the kitchen. 
<coughs> and when it gets really hot, we can swim in the pool. Oh, um, maybe not. I think they need to do a bit of work on their pool. But it is winter, and in summer, I'm sure it'll be all cleared up and looking gorgeous. We're in spring now. Anyway, we're going to have a hot cup of... What are you having? What are you drinking? Chai latte. Oh, okay. It's a, a Woolworths brown chai latte. It's really good. Is it? Mm. Okay. And I will have a tea. Look at those gorgeous cliffs over there. Hey, could you go and climb up the top and I'll take a photo from here? What do you think? I need a longer lens. Yeah, I'll zoom in. Low, low is the quality in this camera. Here you can see how high the water is. It's one reason we couldn't stay at Cardula. Some of the area was inaccessible. I can never remember how to use this thing. I use it so rarely. I think, you, I think you got it up there, up at the right time, and it was less windy. Was it like riding a bike? No. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. I need a lot of practice. It is fun. Well, I think you got some nice shots there. Yeah. Oh, look, at, look how friendly they are. What were they called? Welcome Swallows. Swallows. Oh, we're just off to the... Um, Information Centre, Visitor Information Centre here at Morgan, and then later we'll go for some lunch. At the pub. Which pub? There's two. And there's an Abitur playground up there. You'd love that, Chris. I think you would say that. <laughs> Use like naked plane, obviously, otherwise, or, or mobile phones because it would set off the gunpowder. But they used to dig it up and they used to store it here. This is where they stored the gunpowder. It's sort of collapsed now, it's sort of caved in. Um, but yeah, that's where they used to store it. And, uh, and there's a wharf here where they used to load up the Gunpowder. Yeah, yeah, onto the, onto the onto the ships. But they used to use um, they couldn't use steam uh, steam powered you know boats back then mm. because because with steam you have to have a fire. Yeah. So you know that would be too dangerous. Mm. So what they did was they had to paddle had to paddle it all the way down to Murray Bridge where they unloaded it. And where do you find this information from, Chris? Is it on the interweb? Uh, no, or are I think you I making remember. it up in your head? No, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think so. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> nice houses. Mm. This is really where the gunpowder's kept. Now, Chris made all that stuff up earlier. Here's the evidence of where it is, the powder magazine, and let's go and have a look at it. So what is this, Tim? This is where the gunpowder was kept, Chris. Not back there. Look. <laughs> cool. Looks like some people have gone in there when they're not meant to. Mm -hmm. This is where it's kept. Okay? Okay. All right. Oh, I stand corrected. <laughs> but, but now do you believe me like in Greece? So in Greece, all those places I was saying it was kept. See? Yeah, go, go and watch the Greece videos. So we were here last year. Yeah, yeah. Last, I thought it was, it was about a year ago. And we were overlooking the... Um, Thank you.
the river, which is a little bit more full. -y. A lot more people yeah. here. Yeah. We stayed at Kadula. Want to know what's that campground called? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Kadula. We'll put it what it's really called up here. <laughs> and a link to it at the end of the video. Yeah. And Great yeah. campground. So this time there's people skiing beyond the ferry, which is crossing. But the weather's turned out really good. We've been very lucky. Could be a touch warmer. <laughs> I wasn't intending to film you, Tim. There we go. You can use this on your um, dating profile. Although these flowers are gorgeous and they really are beautiful, they're really just a weed. They're introduced and coming in here along the side of the road you can see quite a few but they can get out of control but they're very nice to look at. There's Tim setting up his fancy tripod. That I'm very jealous of, not. <laughs> and my lunch. And I guess you'll see this photo that Tim's taking, very professional, setting it up. Good morning. Timothy's still asleep. He had a hard night boozing all night. There he is. Got a hangover? I had one beer. <laughs> well, one beer for lunch and one beer for the evening. Oh. Well, that's two more than me. Mm, the day's almost gone. It's 7.31. Sorry, I haven't done my hair. <laughs> and no lippy on or anything. <laughs> so, final, final day on our trip. Yeah, we're going to see if we can get some brekkie at the local uh, cafe. Mm. Not sure that it'll be open, but we'll give it a go. Um, then it'll give the, a bit of time for the tents to dry out, just a touch. Just the dew from overnight, it was cold. I had these little things, I don't know if you get them elsewhere in the world, but you probably do. They're called hot hands, and um, you open them, shake them up, and they heat up, and I put them all in around yeah, my body. They last all night, don't they? They last a long time. Yeah, they're, they're fantastic. They really hmm. work. It got to about four degrees, so it was cold. So we're off to try and find some breakfast. Hmm. Well, that was no good. Um, the cafe, well, it is Sunday and they're allowed to have a sleep in, so they don't open till nine. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we're off again. <laughs> so, pack the bikes up and uh, maybe see what's at the service station. We'll need to fill up. Well, I think I've got half a tank still. Yeah, I've got about half, but we've still got a fair, well, we're not sure where the next fuel is, so we'll get it here. We know okay. there's some here. Is the, is the tent dry? There's a lot of moisture on my luggage here. I woke up a, quite a few times last night. You know what I saw? What? Just over here. A couple of kangaroos. I thought yes. they looked ah, evident. Fresh, fresh evidence. You can usually tell by the taste. <laughs> <laughs> All the smell. Yep. Fresh. Kangaroo, very fresh, about one and a half hours ago. One and a half, oh, yeah. Okay. Lucky they didn't come in at an attack case. Yeah. You know, I got attacked by a kangaroo once. You did? When I was five years old. I was, um, I think I went over to try and pat it, and it gashed my, my stomach. I had, a, I had a scar on my stomach for 
No, not now, but yeah, when I was a kid. Tim's just drawing out his tent, a bit of mildew on it. I'm nearly packed up. Curious visitor, seeing what we're up to. No, he's more interested in looking for food, I think. Good mattress, eh? It's um, meant to be self-inflating, but you do have to blow it up a bit. Mm. Um, I had to blow mine up a few times last night because I think it's got a slow leak. This is what mine packs down to. Quite a small little package. I packed up like, what was it, like hours ago. I was still waiting for Tim, he's laughing around. Look, look at this. Look at this. Coffee cup, undies. <laughs> Rubbish. Oh no, no, no. It's all, it's all, this, you won't know that I've been here afterwards. Oh, I think our seats are dry now. Here's Tim's seat. Bit of. nearly dry. Got my camera on, all set, ready. GoPro Session 5. Not too sure whether I'll get a GoPro again, but the Session 5 is pretty good. The DJI, what are they called? Osmo Action. They sound like a pretty good camera. up our tanks and uh, ready to ride home but first we're crossing over the ferry on the ferry morning well, very calm waters. Is this uh, good water for skiing on, Tim? You've Beautiful. Ah, oh, skiing expert. Gorgeous, gorgeous water skiing water. Um, but you can see there's quite a current because of all the rains they've had in Queensland and New South Wales, and it's finding its way its way down here. So, have you ever been on this road heading back? I don't think I have. I haven't. Because last time, last year when we did this trip, we went, um, we didn't cross the river, did we? We crossed at Berry or somewhere like that, further up. Nice fellow. Morgan Conservation Park. That looks nice. How did you sleep last night? Slept like a log. Last night? Yeah. Um, when I went to the, you know, the, the toilet facilities, yeah. there was a lot of people coughing. Oh. You know, really badly. It reminded me of those two blokes in the hotel next to us yesterday. Yeah. That was almost ridiculous, wasn't it? <laughs> the amount of coughing they did. It was, it was very odd. Coughing and spluttering. Oh, look at those beautiful galahs. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you for joining us. It's been a really nice couple of nights at Morgan in South Australia on the riverfront in the Morgan Riverside Caravan Park. A great place to stay if you're ever down this way. I mean, look at this view. Beautiful area around here. But thank you for joining us. Hope you enjoyed it. So this is the first video we've done which is kind of like simulcast on both channels. On uh, Mr. TPR and uh, Hornet and Bandit. 
which is our joint channel. Yeah, so give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Subscribe if you like it. And comment. We love to we love to reply. We love your comments. We love to be interactive. Where are we going? Well, I was planning to go to Swan Reach, but let's go into Blanchetown and have have something to eat. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then off come back and go that way. Maybe. What an interesting little place, Chris. <laughs> Look at this cute little deli in Blanchetown. Deli takeaway hardware. Stopped here in Blanchetown? Yeah, it's a really interesting little place. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Bit off the main, main train. Yeah, but nice and quiet. Mm. I've got a good shot of me whooping down. You, you should do that. <laughs> you know that thing? <laughs> if you can see that in the distance there. Across the river um, from Morgan and then we briefly went over to the other side, back over to the other side again at Blanchetown and then we came back over this side of the river and we're going down to Swan Bridge yeah. and uh, just because we like going off across the ferries I guess. Yeah. And you get to see more of the river and then after the ferry we're heading down to Manham and then across to Palmer, that nice road that goes up from Palmer back into the Adelaide Hills and back to Adelaide. Take care, and we'll see you next time. We're filming again. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Are you taking this seriously? Yeah, yeah, oh, very, very. Yeah, just got a neck level now. You've got eye protection, I don't. <laughs> I waved at them and they waved back. And it's going to be on my channel, Mr. TPR, and our combined channel, Horner and Bandit. And remember to stick around for the end screen to see who I'm promoting. Now, when you say it's going to be, it actually already is because that's when they're watching it. <laughs> this video is on Mr. TPR and also Hornet and Bandit. So. Well, they would know that because they're watching it on. No, no, but they wouldn't know it was oh, on Hornet okay. and Bandit. It's on both channels. That 
we put videos on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it again. Yeah.